then moving on we have another um indication of today's pop stars are just happy to court attention and just be you know basically living embodiments of attention seekers as opposed to trying to create viral moments off the back of their music and their craft and Demi Lovato is no bigger example of that bigger in all pun intended so it says courtesy of BuzzFeed it says Demi Lovato says she you know says day see I missed I what you call it what's that what's what called um not misgendered whatever that word is um Demi Lovato says they may not always identify as non-binary as they continue their gender journey right I misgendered her sorry my bad I misgendered they actually that's it my bad I remember being outside of um what was it what was that place called it might be in the yard and getting into a really and this again I was you know flying high I was high as a kite drunk as a kite talking to a couple of randoms outside in the smoking area where they have all the benches and seats and I guess I misgendered one or two um, of them I guess is that how you'd say it and now at that time I wasn't aware of all this stuff I really wasn't gender pronouns I had no idea what they were I think I might have heard it on the podcast but I didn't really I hadn't really seen it in action in IRL and they were sincere enough or you know nice enough about it in terms of correcting me and informing me what was going on but for real there was like a good five to ten minute period where I was just like I didn't understand like why would you call yourself day if you're I'm just talking to you it's a thing that that's not a singular Jamie you know I, mean? I, I couldn't wrap my head around it until it kind of clicks like, oh yeah now I get what you're talking about it just didn't function in real life conversations and if anything it made the conversations clunky and it made it just awkward because my naivety and my kind of um bemusement made it seem as if I was being dismissive or being rude of you know the, the way that they choose to live their life or the way that they choose to identify which I wasn't I was just generally confused because again I was high and drunk and also I didn't understand what was going on it was just like it just didn't make any sense but again they were nice enough to explain it to me but I felt bad afterwards because it felt like I came across like a dick right I was purposely not trying to understand and trying to be edgy or whatever it's just not the case and these are real life people, which I mean, real life kids, people, you know, who are not famous or just kind of chilling and doing their thing. Cool. No problem. It's just a little bit, I wouldn't say it feels disingenuous, but it does feel a little bit opportunistic when you see pop stars with all the access, money, connections and whatever in the world. When they come out and try to attach themselves to stuff like this in order to, I guess, associate themselves with a subset of people who are going through some, you know, interest, who are going through an interesting journey in life trying to get you know get all these gender pronouns to become part of the you know general lexicon is going to be a real slog but they're trying they're doing their best some of it's a bit corny and a bit naff but again you have to try so they're doing that so they launch themselves next to that and they're not really bringing anything to the table it feels like like who are they really helping you know what i mean like what barriers are they really breaking down if anything it's just another way to call attention it's just another little trinket to add to your little um you know when somebody introduces somebody on stage and says oh this person has you know 35 grammys two emmys and all that stuff when you add these kind of you know um gender pronouns to your name especially if you're again for a pop star more so i just i always look at it with a side eye because it just adds to your ability to kind of garner attention and get people to talk about you right i will make you seem more interesting than you actually are especially for somebody like demi lovato again who i say is immensely talented has an amazing voice wherever you know you like her songs or not she can sing like for a white girl she can sing 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 right and still still the music is not up to par there is no music really it's like a lizard thing it's just all outrage marketing it's nothing else but outrage like what is this really doing like what is this serving who needs to know and even again even if you're going through this journey you're probably like, does anybody need to know this does this add anything to what you're doing um does it actually make you more interesting probably not i would argue that you don't even need to be interesting to be a pop star you just need to make good records you might need to have a couple moments to kind of you know get your google trends popping off and stuff and get you popping on all the main bl music blog pages on instagram but these days to be a pop star do you really need to have all these antics i don't necessarily think you do i think if you make a really generic middle of the road tune that plays on radio that people seem to love they'll just bop that shit all day long without all the antics i personally think but what do i know it says here the article because your buzzfeed the musician who came out as non-binary back in may recently spoke out about their experience exploring their gender and what the future looks like for them 
um, being non-binary, what that means is that I'm so much more than non-binary of a man and a woman and that we are um, all so much more if we allow ourselves the ability to look within ourselves and challenge the, the binary that we grow up and living in. Do people need to tell some of these celebrities like most people aren't really looking to look inwards. Most people are checking their bank accounts and making sure that they have enough money to pay the electric bill. Most people are making sure that they have enough pence in their account to make sure that they can buy some bread, right? They're worried that their schools, that their kids are going to get bullied in school because they don't have the correct school uniform and having to buy blanks in Primark and stuff because they can't afford the official one with the badge on it. Most people are making sure that they can pay their phone bill so that the interviews that they're applying for, people can phone them back. Most people are trying to get out of bed without spraining or breaking something. Most people have had their families completely decimated through that COVID and stuff, right? Or through the lack of having jobs as kind of rendered relationships null and void, has broken up families, you know, destroy people's interpersonal relationships in all manner of sizes. They don't have time to look inwards. This is a luxury only really afforded by people who live a somewhat privileged life, it feels like. Who else has time to do this? If you do have time to do it, it's cool. You just do it and you keep on trucking. It's not something that you kind of get BuzzFeed to write an article about you about you know it's just it just isn't you've got more better things to be worrying about and also if if anything you're you you're trying to use your platform whatever it is to basically um bring attention to people who don't have as much influence or access as you do in order for them to feel like they're not alone but all this what is this doing for anybody it's just self-serving it's just a self-serving tactic to get people to pay attention and this lady has been on the one non-stop every time she, Demi Lovato may be the only celebrity I've ever seen in my entire life who came out of rehab and got more hate. Usually, whenever celebrities go into rehab, regardless of who they are, right, however repugnant they may be, there's something about going to rehab and, you know, stripping stripping yourself bare, confessing to your sins, asking for forgiveness, and trying to live a better life that makes people, you know, that's indigenous of the people. People start to think, you know what, let's give he or she a chance, day a chance, right, because... Look what they've done. They've done something incredibly brave, right? They be, they've want to be vulnerable. They're, they're not pretending that they can handle everything. They've gone to seek some professional help. Maybe this is an indication that they're changing as a person. But Demi Lovato is the only person who went to rehab, came out, and people hate her more than ever. <laughs> it's just insane. They seem to they don't, maybe they don't hate her, but they just tolerate her. She's not loved. They're not, she, there's nothing endearing about her in that respect. Maybe because she's done it herself, and you know what she she tried to get a flipping froyo place shut down you know remember that story recently where she started ranting or raving because a place that she went into to buy frozen yogurt dared dare to sell yogurt that wasn't she i think she went in there specifically because they sold like um non-sugar non-sugar sort of variants of this yogurt um or non yeah right non-sugar versus of the yogurt and then when she went in there they dared to sell you know Various that had sugar and were basically coated in hundreds of thousands and chocolate chips and stuff and got really angry and threatened to basically close the entire place down. Like, you know, it's just like wild shit. And Katia says, they lay I did. I was very nervous in the beginning of coming out as bi non binary because I didn't want people to think it was inauthentic. It is inauthentic. I'm telling you now, it's inauthentic. You just want attention. Your music sucks. You don't know how to probably write new records. No one really wants to work with you that's got any kind of talent because you're one you know person sinking ship and uh, and a best way to kind of make sure people keep talking about you and you're in the press is to come out as non-binary she says yeah i just want people to see what coming out of non-binary meant to my healing process i just love if they just would <sighs> just do something interesting that's it be interesting is it really that hard to be interesting or to just say something um to have a hot take that might kind of you know, push people's buttons a little bit on, on a current topic as opposed to something as safe as this. It's just safe. It's just meh. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Um, Demi Lovato noted that they fight. Um, they first began questioning the agenda as early as elementary school, but the entire gender journey will last forever. <laughs> of course it does. Uh, there might be a time where identifies trans, <laughs> where there might be a time where identifies non-binary and gender non conforming my entire life, or maybe there's a period in time when I get older and identify as a woman. Bruv. She, she wants everything she wants to eat her cake and eat it she wants it all she wants it all or they want it all they want it all everything give me everything give me every um every identifier that i can add to myself it's like one of those people that has a twitter bio and it's just like blm you know times up and you know stop asian hate and all this everything every single you know social media activist tweet hashtag they have on their bio 
gender you know rainbow flags everywhere it's like but who are you as a person cool all those labels are fun we get where you stand and what you you know what you kind of are passionate about but who are you at your core for real let's get to the core of that god damn it man these people but you know maybe it's a good thing maybe it's better she just does she does this instead of putting out music because the music's going to be terrible anyway so what's the point and you know there's nothing worse i'd imagine if you're an artist or a musician and you can make records from the ground up right build it um you can produce a track produce an album to put it out and people completely hate it right in the space of an hour or sometimes less than so maybe the pressure of trying to get to the level that they were at previously in terms of notoriety number one hits or you know top 50 hits top 10 hits whatever on billboard it's just too much so, and you don't want to go through that emotional hell of having to fight critics and whatnot right that are saying maybe you're past it maybe it's over that's going to eat away at you so why not just do the second best thing and come out as non-binary and go from there god damn it these people they have they have not they have no um they have no morals